Hello. And welcome to the 23rd of December in 2020. Um, wasn't entirely sure what to do um, today, but I found a few more fun little poems to read uh, for you guys. And uh, I think uh, I think this is something that a lot of you will enjoy. There are a few uh, fun things in here, um, silly and uh, of a, a more uh, also a more uh, serious nature. Um, all good, I would like to say. All positive, I'd I like to think anyway, generally. But yeah, first of all, um, I uh, there's this uh, <laughs> I forgot. Like um, you know, back you know, back in uh, back in the day there. You know all the Smash Brothers hype, right? All you know, I know when announcements were first coming about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and um, whether and like uh, you know who you know there was all this speculation, right? YouTube was just like you know like the gaming corner of YouTube was so wild with all these predictions and everything, and like who was going to make it into the next game and who wasn't going to make it and everything, and then of course the trailer hit and said everyone is here, revealing that. Everyone from every previous Smash Brothers game ever would be in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and that alone was amazing. And then, of course, all these extra characters kept on coming. And so, um, as the characters kept coming, I, I wrote, a, I always thought how fun it would be to have some kind of like, um, like rap going on of like, the, of the from the perspectives of these new characters uh, coming, you know, starting from Daisy, Daisy and Ridley all the way up until um, I stopped writing after Isabel because I think after that point you start getting into DLC characters, but like characters that came with the um, with the game now, uh, like with the game now. Or maybe there are a couple other ga uh, characters that came out with Isabel. I think oh yeah, I think like Incineroar. I think I forget, but I stopped at Isabel just because I didn't really think of much else to do. Um, but yeah, I was th I was considering making some sort of like you know rap beat or something like that and like rap on top of this and all that. But uh, it never seemed worth the effort to me. And so now you get uh, I will say I will you know I'll share I'll share it with you uh, what I wrote just for fun and I'll kind of like speak it in rhythm, kind of like rapping essentially. But yeah, here we go. And again, so this covers Daisy Ridley, um, Simon and Richter Belmont. Krom, Dark Samus, um, although Dark Samus doesn't actually speak. In Dark Samus's section, it's uh, the actual Samus speaking in that one. Then King K. Rule, and then Isabel. So here we go. Yahoo! I'm Daisy. Wow, this place is lit. Not another proper princess, because I'm way more legit. Batting, golfing, go-karting, I always seem to impress. I'm not a costume, Peach, so give me back my dress. That was Daisy, obviously. Ridley. You let Bowser in for melee and Wolf back in brawl. For Ganondorf and Mewtwo on your knees you would crawl. While I swoop in like a boss slapping spaceships around. Then I leave cause you think I can't shed a few pounds. Step aside, Dark Pit. You too, Meta Knight. No Mega Man or mustache gets her out of this fight. Did you miss me, Iron Lady? I am Metroid Prime for joining your club and finally hitting the big time. So yeah, Mega Man or Mustache, that refers to Mega Man and Mario getting, like, knocked out, knocked out, over or knocked out in the Ridley trailer. Next are the Belmonts. Good evening to Simon coming in from Romania. Well, Sam has brought the Metroid, time for me to bring the Vania. But I had to take a stop right before here I came to an old familiar face with its never-ending rain. As I stepped into the castle, a poor soul uneasy shouted in panic as the monsters got screechy. The gang was all there, drawing despicable breath. There were mummies, the Medusa, and even vile death. Too late for the green man, but it's Dracula I want. When the vampire appeared, in came Richter Belmont! You've battled enough, Gramps, I can take it from here. Our clan has learned a few tricks over 100 years. Settle, d Settle down, young blood. Don't forget you're an echo of the original Belmont, a shadow you'll never let go. But who taught you those moves, sir? Don't forget who's, um, yeah. But who taught, uh, but who, ta uh, but who taught you those moves, sir? Don't forget who's the boss of the slide kick, the uppercut, and the smashing grand cross. So yeah, that's Simon and Richter, uh, Belmont, you know, chatting, um, uh, and kind of go, uh, going back and forth. Now for Chrome. Lucina, my daughter, you do me proud. Out of Marth's shadow, really pleasing the crowd. 
With a sword, Falcion, I am set to advance. Mr. Falcon, beware, for now I get my chance. It's referring to Captain Falcon. Um, I guess I'll get my chance, you know, later on all this stuff from, like, back in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Now, Dark Samus, except it's the, actual, it's the real Samus speaking. Are you serious? First Ridley, and now we have this? What are we, a haven for the beasts of abyss? After welcoming in my evil Phazon twin, will our crowds be shouting Metroid Prime for the win? And then King K. Rule, I had, I had fun with this one. Boom! Every step I take announces my arrival. Boom! The fans have spoken, they have... Yeah. Boom! Every step I take announces my arrival. Boom! The fans have spoken, they have called for my my arrival. Boom! As I approach the cabin of my private rival. What? Take out that troll and duck in front of DK's hut. Now you get out of here before I take out my blunderbuss, my golden gut, my boxing glove. To dull some serious damage, kick some DK butt. You fool! Mess with the crown, you mess with King K. Rule! <coughs> and finally, for Isabel... Um, I took uh, I took a leaf out of the uh, of Hamilton of the ha Hamilton the musical book. Work, work, work! I'm Isabel. Work, work, work! The mayor's gone, and all collecting shells. The campsites at the campsite store they go off to find a legend to shell some. Uh, and off to collecting shells at the campsite store. They go off to find a legend to shell some damage on. But me, I've got to work to make this town a little better. Maybe I should be the mayor. Wait, what? I got a letter? I wonder if it's a newcomer who is short on some cash. Or maybe a request for it. They want me in Smash? <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Those are the uh, sort of like rap rhymes that I came up with for, um, for some of the uh, initial newcomers of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, man, the hype was so crazy at the time as announcement one announcement after another um came out spent a lot i spent a lot of time on youtube watching people's reactions anyway um so uh for this next one uh uh this was a poem i kind of made from uh uh so Someone had, so I saw, so someone had, the, you know, the, the like magnet poetry, you, you have like a box of like little magnets with little magnets with words on them and you move them around on like a magnetic surface, like a refrigerator or something to make poetry and you can move them around because they're, you know, they're little magnets. Well, someone had a superhero version of that. Um, so I had a bunch of superhero related words. So I tried to make a sort of poem that used as many of those words as possible. And there was only like one of each, like I tried to only use one of each kind of word, right? Um, so here is, so this one's a bit nonsensical, uh, maybe a little bit deep, I don't know, but, uh, here you go. It's called, and I honestly, I, I applied the same to the title, too, so it's called Crime Too Bad, Mask So Tight. Punch evil, throw villain, catch criminal, rescue woman, billow cape, explode weapon, save another civilization. Jump, smash, crush, crash, always punch brutal enemy. Transform fear, love battle, become a mighty superhero. Alien invasion would have come for city, launch cataclysm, doom, radioactive costume, lurking secrets, between monster people and spider planet, invisible shadow, insane bird man, super bullet, space bat, kryptonite tank. I am more than power, strength, law, justice. Society, see, hear, hero suddenly is mortal. Identity blasted. Nemesis safe. Fast sky car must hide my face. Try our muscle. Do him in. Strong leap. Fist fight. Break the skin. No use. Lift this building. Include that skyscraper. Who can stop her menace? Which world were you at? Destroy me. Grow up. Speed through. Fly by. Tear my will. Then only give from here on out. Earth Look, live, make us good, as if they were there, <laughs> and that's that. Um, oh yeah, I um, there was sort of a I don't know if you'd call this a poem or or something, but I I just had this idea like float you know floating around for a while to like sort of like basically spell out my name with all the different titles that I've claimed over the years. And uh, I'll read this list of titles that I've come up with, and I could add a few more since I've written this, and I'll mention that. But here are the here are the sort of titles um, apart from my real name that I can that I could uh, claim: boy, man, son, 
brother, nephew, cousin, grandson, great-grandson, acquaintance, friend, boyfriend, groom, husband, thespian, cellist, performer, actor, singer, dancer, technician, operator, painter, artist, gentleman, child, human, deacon, teacher, priest, elder, missionary, companion, student, kid, hero, villain, dungeon master, game master, player, contestant, competitor, speaker, great speaker, writer, poet, composer, game designer, PC, NPC, editor, librarian, assistant, intern, employee, father, not actual father, but like, you know, in a, in a, in a play, I had the role of father, you know, as you know, this is also evidenced in some of the other titles later, undertaker, police officer, bishop, outcast, citizen, resident, vice president, conductor, leader, date, counselor, home teacher, chair, chorister, and now I can add a few more, uncle, uh, director, and probably, and I mean, Baron, as in Baron Dipitus, not the actual title Baron, but like the name uh, Baron, the moniker Baron. Anyway, I think it's an interesting exercise to consider all the different uh, sort of titles that you can claim. Uh, for example, um, if you have made any art at all, you are an artist. If you have written a single poem, you are a poet. Even if you are not a great artist or whatever, even if you have literally only like taken a few crayons and when you're six, when you were six years old and drew something, that makes you an artist. You have made art. That is the pure definition of it. So, anyway, uh, there was a time where I made a, a limerick in March, and I made I called this a March limerick, and you'll see why I chose that title pretty quickly. A March hare who marched in the marches liked it better than marching through marshes. Said the hare to the hatter. Say, what could be madder than a march in the marches in March? And the marches is actually a place, like a place, I think, what is it? Like somewhere in the UK is called, some, a place is called the marches. Anyway. But yeah, I love limericks. Just the, the fun, the fun, like, you know, even the word limerick has this sort of like hopping, like lilt sound to it. Um, a march hare who marched in the marches liked it better than marching through marshes. So the hare to the hatter, say, what could be madder than a march in the marches in March? So, there's an old tongue twister for you. Um, I'll share one more today, and this one is uh, of a more serious yet happy nature. This is a, this is a um, these are lyrics to a Christmas song that I have invented uh, a few years ago. Um, I, I also created, I also created this melod uh, melody. So, um, let me give some context. So, this is a Christmas song in that it focuses on the Chris the biblical Christmas story. So. Um, again, this will probably this will certainly appeal more to those who identify as Christian more than others. But I think it is still a you know uh, I'd like to think it's still a sort of a sweet little little um, song. I I created I created the melody and I wrote these lyrics. And I, I just I don't know I was inspired by the group the King Singers and they always have this tight harmony as they sing. And um, I haven't like really written much of any harmony for this. But I have written a melody and I've written these lyrics. And there are five stanzas, one for each of the um, of the main vowels in English. Um, a, E, E, O, U. And so um, you'll hear that. Uh, and I, I did that just for fun, honestly. But this is a... But yeah, here we go. I don't think I have a title for this. It's just a Christmas hymn that I have written. Wise men traveled from afar, traveled from afar. Their path guided by a star, guided by a star. Glory, glory, in excelsis Deo. The babe to see in wandering awe, see in wandering awe. A crown will pierce his sinless head, 
and pierce his sinless head. Yet live the judge of quick and dead, <coughs> judge of quick and dead. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Take living water, living bread, water, living bread. Or take the living bread, the lowing oxen, lamb, and sheep, oxen, lamb, and sheep, surround the child in humble keep, child in humble keep. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. All while he lay in heavenly sleep, lay in heavenly sleep. His work and wonders he will show, wonders he will show. We'll walk the pathway we should go, pathway we should go. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Grant love and peace to those who know, peace to those who know. The Prince of Peace for me and you, peace for me and you, Jehovah and Messiah too, and Messiah too. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. The Christ, the way, the life, the truth, way, the life, the truth. There you go. Um, yeah, that's all I had to share uh, today. Just, uh, just a few fun uh, uh, and lovely uh, pieces that I've written in the past and thought you'd enjoy them. So, yeah, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you tomorrow on Christmas Eve. All the best.